Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Return to Greece. Press any button. Options. Audio. Music. Let's get the music down. Subtitles on. Controller mapping. Okay. In we go. Load game. I don't... I've never played it before, so I wouldn't have a game to load. Right. Stick start responding. Ganymede. Third. Can you take control? The storm is interfering with my senses. The ancient resting place of humanity's greatest achievement. Hold on. Impact in ten, nine. Oh, there it is. Oh, ho, ho, ho. humor. Addy. Addy, please respond. Oh, my everything hurts. You've been out for nearly an hour. What's our status, Alan? We've crashed. Yeah, I got that. My hull is intact. Thrusters two and four are damaged and will require realignment. So will my back. Can you let me out? Not before we talk about your suit. Okay, talk. I'm reading green on seals, green on batteries. Thermals are, well, not green, but fine. And you have 5.35 hours of oxygen. Maybe six if we run the scrubbers hot. But Addy, we've had this discussion before. You won't have Alan, enough to... it's fine. I have a plan. I'm concerned that... I have a plan. Understood. Now, uh, open the hatch. The canopy hydraulics are not responding. You'll have to pull the manual release. Okay. <coughs> Options, game, vertical lock inverted. You have to pull the manual release. Manual release. Oh, come on. Seriously. This stupid piece of junk. I'm right here. Ugh. Visibility's terrible. Any sign of the spire? I'm not picking up anything new. Just the original beacon signal. You'll need to use your wayfinder to locate an entry point. If there is one. All right. Let's figure out where you're at, Grace. You know the beacon could be anything. A lost colony, a relay station. 200 distinct oral histories can't be wrong, Alan. Grace is here. Okay. What do I always do in a game? Go in the opposite direction of where they want you to go. In order to find something interesting that might be hidden. So far, this is quite the plod. Uh, pressing the buttons doesn't seem to do anything. I can't speed anything up. Uh, there's no indicator. There's some weird floating rocks there. There's some no indicator as to how long my oxygen is going to last. Despite being told 5.3 whatever hours. Unless the oxygen is that greenish kind of bar on the left of the circle. Okay, we have some sort of debris. It could be the ship I came in on. It could be something else. Looks quite old and rusted, so maybe not the ship I came in on. Unless there's a really corrosive atmosphere. I can't believe this storm. 
Where would this have come from? There is record of ancient terraforming on other moons. I think it's safe to assume that Ganymede is not an exception. It's not letting me go near. So there's... So I, I can't... Right, okay. Kind of... Basic collision detection there. So naturally I'm being funneled in the one direction. that a rock okay let's just do it at once something with an aerial or something with a there's something man made here surprised the games are allowed to say things like man-made anymore not human-made or woman-made like a weather station or maybe a seismic station it looks the era of that relay from the Dawes sea dig it's at least 700 years old alan all right so you can kind of go up on certain things will that let me climb up there no Bridge here. There wouldn't be much sense of building this if we weren't within walking distance of the spire. By all estimates, the beacon is within 400 meters. Right. This looks climbable. Right. Which way here? Well, the way that the indicator on your little compass thing shows you. Although saying that, let's check. What? What are you doing? So once I go across, I can't go back. Is that correct? Oh, no, it just does a balancing act whilst I'm on there. Right, okay. Oh, it doesn't seem to matter which way I went. Oh no! Oh no! Help! Yep. There goes back again. What happened? Fell into a stupid fissure. Looking for a new way to reach the spire. Or at least some place where it will be easier to find my body. Oh, ho, ho, ho. dreary death humor. So why has the character decided to stop looking at the compass now? Because there's only one way out. You're being funneled. Open in. Squeeze. Looks a little tight. Just do it automatically. Why do I have to press a button to do that? Fucking stupid. It's opened up again. Another station. They're too close together to be weather stations. So seismic then. Icequakes would be the risk of building here. So it makes sense they would track activity. The surface temperature is dropping. We can't maintain your thermals much longer. Close. I, I can feel it. I wish I shared your optimism. Well, you should be able to share the optimism because you could tell because it's going bleep, 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 bleep with a higher pitch the closer I get to wherever my destination is, which is this rustic structure. This has to be it. What do you see? I'm looking at what must be the spire superstructure. I can't imagine how something this big has gone undetected for this long. A 500 year old storm? I don't know. It doesn't seem possible. Right. Well, it's not allowing me to go there. 
I can't seem to climb everything. Okay, so where do I, I just go back up to the ladder that I passed then, do I? Ladder examined. There's a destroyed surface ladder. I'll need to find another way in. Right. So I needed to examine that ladder before it would let me go perhaps the other way. What a fucking ridiculous, stupid thing. There's quite a bit of funneling and hand holding here, isn't there? Some very nice sounds with the uh, with the storms. Oh fuck! I can see an exhaust port that might be low enough to jump to. That was ridiculously <laughs> stupid. That looked like a flat surface, so her hand was technically holding on to a flat surface. It... All right, Grace. Let's find out what you've been up to for the past 900 years. So you just press A to literally do everything. There is no need to press any buttons just automatically Hope my light still works that's the way i came you should see this spooky tunnel i'm in alan and why would i want that come on you're not excited you crash landed me in a frozen hellscape and left me for salvage 10 years of research not to mention six months of space flight are about to pay off but at what cost don't ruin this for me looks like a bit of a labyrinth but i'm still picking up the signal ahead and you can still hear me loud and clear buddy Looks like the tunnels can be air sealed. I'm guessing large parts of the station can be pressurized. I guess. The structure looks to be in decent condition. Another good sign. Well, these can't be powered. There must be airflow in the tunnels. Well, I have to say, there's more atmosphere than I was expecting. Not nearly enough to survive. I'm looking at a pretty hefty blower for venting maybe oh for the production and movement of air which means more than a few people used to live here yeah you're saying the word people we don't know that for sure do we everything about this place looks 30th century to me it's the right era the right size don't say it Addy. we've had our hopes dashed before Okay, we're doing that kind of game show thing where the the pulse of the compass is increasing to do and to increase the tension and to get you to feel that sort of uh, accomplishment. Going in the right direction. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. Let's make it more intense. Oh. Did that have something come up then? No.
Broken fan. This one's broken. I think I can crawl through. Oh, is it going to be something though where it, it churns you up into bits? No. Shaft examine. Jeez. That's got to be over 15 meters. And if gravity here is one sixth of that on Earth, then a 15 meter fall here would be the equivalent of falling less than three meters at standard G, which you've mastered a couple of times already on the moon's surface. Okay. Let's do that then. Ah, it's probably fine. I could calculate outcome probabilities based on previous drop impacts if you've already jumped, haven't you? Gosh, I hope this is the right way. Well, you've got a big compass thing in front of your face telling you it is. Oh boy, this is slick. Addy? Oh no. Whoa. Are you hurt, Addy? I'm working on it. The structure is enormous. This has to be the Grey Spire, Alan. And there it is. The perfect setup for disappointment. They've got some sort of ornate tiling on the floor, which I wasn't expecting. I found the beacon. Examine. The transmitter is on some sort of console. It must be part of a control network for the megastructure. You think we can make a connection here? Theoretically. If you run a scan, I can attempt to connect. The interface language is quite old and sophisticated, but we should be able to calibrate your computer to interact. You can use your gyroscope to sync with the terminal. I have the first calibration position. The meter will indicate when you are close. Okay. Watch the meter closely and move your hand slowly to find the position. First right. position is locked. Second calibration position is up. Okay. That's two, and here's the final position. Right. <laughs> That's it. We're in. Accessing the network now. Oh. Shit. Alan, you there? Alan? Hello. Huh? A visitor. Let's have a look. Where's Alan? Who is this? Who is this? Who are you? Entering a home without knowing its host. Are you... Grace? Hmm. Good question. I'm not entirely Grace. I'm running on just a small part of her logic processing. Grace is still here. And what brings you here? My name is Adamari Ido, mm -hmm. an explorer. I must apologize, Adamari. It would appear I have lost much of my capacity. I cannot see very far beyond the room we are in. I've lost connection with my ship's AI. You won't need Alan here. I can show you around. Will you be able to let me out of this room? Of course. But until we are able to restore power to the station, I will require your assistance. There should be a manual winch set in the floor at the foot of one of the sliding doors. Okay. Look for a hinged floor grate at the foot of one of the doors. Right. This must be it. Working the winch will open the door. Do you know where Grace has been all this time? Grace went somewhere? She's been gone for hundreds of years. I am running on a very old server. 
My memories predate the completion of the Grace Spire. Grace ushered in humanity's golden age. Peace across the system, booming interplanetary trade, scientific marvels, colonies beyond the orbit of Neptune, and then she was gone, and it all fell apart. I'm sorry, I don't remember. Well, you're a lot more than an archaeologist usually gets. I love this feeling of interaction when they get you to do these things. The first step to restoring Grace is to bring the Spire's power station back online. Let's do it. I'll light the way. <sighs> okay. What do I do here? This is a security panel. I am decrypting the pattern now. Ah, yes. Simple enough. You'll need to light up nine buttons, forming a square at the center of the panel. Okay. The nine buttons in the center. That is what I said. If you're not Grace, then what do I call you? I don't believe there are any identification strings in my base logic that would suffice. I'll call you logic then. For now. Until we have a better idea of who you are. And, uh, you can call me Addie. I will refer to you as Addy, then, until we have a better idea of who you are. <laughs> so what exactly are you? The station's emergency server had defaulted to Grace's original logic processing. That's me, as you've suggested. The server can also run a program dedicated to the control of infrastructure, and the third system dedicated solely to empathizing with and understanding humans. When power is restored, Grace's primary servers should come online, and we will become some small part of Grace's consciousness. Okay, right. Just gonna readjust my seating. It's giving me sort of uh, Dwemer vibes from some of the uh, areas in Skyrim, where you've got the kind of copper or brass and the green type of uh, lights and then the rocks. Um, humor's a little bit uh, but I'm kind of enjoying what I'm see. Go ahead and activate the elevator. I'm kind of enjoying what I'm seeing so far. Seems okay. This looks like metallic rock. The power station is set into the Spire's foundation stone. The foundation stone would have been an asteroid, right? Most certainly. About 50 cubic kilometers, from what I can recall. Amazing. Most accounts of Grace's origins talk about an asteroid being pulled from the heavens. Makes sense. There wouldn't be any construction resources on Ganymede and nothing to anchor the structure. I can't imagine the effort it would have taken to redirect an asteroid that big. We don't do anything like that today. Or do we? <laughs> I mean, I've never played this before. I don't know if they actually do. I just meant in the sense of... Uh, do we actually know what is going on with uh, the government and space programs? Power station... Don't. Can you open this? With some difficulty, I will need to direct power from logic to control processing, and I will not function at the same cognitive level until full power is restored. What do you mean, at the same level? Good luck, Addy. Right. You're on your own. You still there? Where would I have gone? You sound a little different. Just stronger. The voice of control resonates through the very walls of the structure. I shall start the turbine after you prime the generators that open the spillway. And this turbine still works? It worked before, and it will work again. You shall find the generators on the platform at the other side of the room. Alrighty. Alright. Okay, ooh, crates. Examine crates. You know what's in these? Go to the three generators overlooking the turbine. 
Okay, not much of a chatter then. They're cartridges. For what, I wonder? Enough, Addy. You must go to the generators. Don't need that. Not that it says anything about batteries running out on your torch. Machinery, examine. These look like holding tanks. How exactly do these turbines work? For the last time, go to the generators. Okay. So there's nothing telling me any direction, so I'll just go this way. Switches, buttons. What happened here? Someone ripped this apart. Why do you insist on being so insolent? Go to the generators. So why do you need me to start these? Tradition. A time-honored failsafe of including human hands in the operation of this station. Right, so you can't... Ah, oh, you... Right, you have to... So when you get within a certain distance, when you're looking at an object, it tells you what you could do, but you have to get closer before it allows you to... Oh, here we go. So, do you share memories with the logic processor? Indeed. We are all part of Grace. Aspects of her infinite power. Shadows of what was, and promises of what will be. I was the light that shone in the darkness. I was the hand that divided the firmament. Shone in the darkness. Oh, my arms. Oh, they're aching. The turbine has Course. failed us. That's not good. I must call upon you to cast out the wicked instrument. The what? The broken turbine. You must go to it now. All right. Replace turbine. Do, do, do. All lift. Going down. Why wouldn't you have just a a basic ladder? Say there was a a power cut. How would the lift work? I'm safe to be down here, right? You shall not be harmed. You must uncouple the safety latches. That sounds unsafe. It is not. Right, you have to be at a specific place. I get that, but you don't need to have the thing light up. The text doesn't need to be there until you get in place, perhaps. You must now go to the magnetic crane. You're sure I'll be able to fix this? If you trust in my word, yes. All right. Depressive Gandalf. See, they got a ladder by here. Why didn't they have a ladder down there? Fucking stupid. You must first cast out the old turbine. Now cast aside the wretched unit. I shall. I shall cast it aside. Now you shall place the new turn. Okay, that's what I'll do then.
place turbine. Everett? Hello? Everett, is that you? Grace? Everett. Behold my power. What's happened? I am reborn. Humanity will once again flourish in the brightness of my glory. This isn't right. Our processing has not combined. Grace has not been restored. I think she was here for a moment. She was calling to someone. Do you know who Everett is? No. With power restored, my mind is clearer, sharper. But I could not tell you who Everett is. You must leave this place at once. Return to your vessel and spread word of my return. From Sol's fiery core to the icy Kuiper expanse, all must know. I've hijacked the volume control. I don't feel like this is going to be a short commandment. We'll see how long before he notices. It took me nearly a year to get here. I want to know if Grace can be brought back. There is more complex to explore if you head back to the control room through which you entered. We should determine where in the megastructure my central processes are located. Perhaps along the way you may learn more about this Everett. I forbid you to linger a moment longer. And he's back. Like a divine comet, dive from the outer reaches and spread light and understanding to the inner Please. world. Please, I'm not leaving. Yet more insolence. Okay. So, we don't know who this guy is. We need to find out whoever it is. And I'm still struggling to work out who exactly built this. Was this... Us? So, are there any accounts as to why Grace was shut down in the first place? There's no electronic record at all. That would have been lost during the Great Dark Age. Dark Age? Much of humanity's record keeping would have been managed by Grace. So... She went down 900 years ago, so did the ability to record what happened. The research that led me here was based on oral histories, mostly. And some artifacts we uncovered on Earth and Mars. Relay devices that were once connected to Grace's network. Then we share an interest in shedding light on this dark age. We do indeed, because I'm interested in what's going on with this dark age. some sort of transit system on the other side of the control room, which should lead you to the other parts of the spire. Right, so that'll be the door. Uh, this will be the door, I just... I will illuminate the door leading to this transit system. Okay. So I was manually able to unlock the door over there, and it did it... I didn't notice it, and must have unlocked all of them then. But now I have to do this puzzle thing by here. Alas, I require your nimble fingers again. All right, what's the pattern? Another easy one. The Phoenician letter Tor. Who would know that? I don't know. Perhaps an archaeologist? How about the Greek letter Chi? Have I got to look this... The Roman numeral yeah. 10? Okay, okay. Right, so, oh, this is awkward, doing it with the uh, thumbsticks. You can't use the actual um, cross pad thing. There we go. Got it. This is not the way to your ship. Do you believe Grace could have done something to cause humans to turn on her? Like what? Like becoming too overbearing? Humans would have been given no reason to question my bearing. It's one of my theories, yes. Okay. This must be the main entrance. I'm guessing the landing pad is on the other side of the big doors. That's correct, Addy. Though the pad appears to be buried under meters of ice. Right, we're going to have to boil a kettle somewhere then. 
What are these for? They appear to be terminals for processing visitors to the Spire. But they no longer store any useful information. Right, okay. Doors. This looks Olympian or Neo Egyptian. The triangle must represent the spire. Beautiful, don't you think? Does it matter if it's beautiful? That's another way to see it, sure. What was that? Right. Cool statue. Or maybe it's a mobile. Do the little moons move? Perhaps at one point in time. Though I'm not sure of the relevance of that. Eh, just curious. Yeah. Is this an airlock? Yes. The spire beyond this point can be pressurized. I assume your suit has limited oxygen? I have about five hours left. That's quite a risk you're taking. Were you assuming station life support could be restored? Well, can it? I believe so. But for reasons I'll never understand, life support is controlled by empathy processing. I suppose they had to give it something to do. I will enable that programming now. Hello, Addy. Hello. So you're going to get oxygen going? The process has already begun, my friend. No rush. If you let me accompany you along the path ahead, I can balance the environment to your life force as we walk. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Very nice. Let's try to remember that. Wow. How are these plants still intact? They must have been subject to a very sudden drop in temperature while still alive. What is this place? Remaining connected to one's natural world is important for a person's well-being. A fitting starting point for those entering the structure, don't you think? Do you see them, Addie? Life in perfect stillness? Um... The flowers defying the hoarfrost. As you have defied the emptiness of space to arrive here. I, I guess. Which one are you? Pardon me? Which one of these blooms best embodies your spirit? Seriously? It's important I know these things in the balancing of illuminatory ergonomics. <laughs> Fancy words do not make this any less idiotic. Go ahead, Addy. There are no wrong choices. Alright, so I've, I've got to choose the best flower then, have I? Do you recognize any of the objects in this section of the garden? I'd love to know what you think of them. For the calibration process. Right, hang on, hang on. Could I? Right, I can examine. This statue could be outer colonial. It's simple, but it's quite beautiful, I guess. And why would its beauty matter? People like pretty things. Ah, a human truth spanning thousands of years. Am I doing this right? You are doing splendidly. I'm sorry. This cannot possibly be necessary. Temperature preferences can vary considerably between individuals. Careful calibration is essential. How about above freezing and we proceed? It's really up to Addy. If you don't wish to consider more objects, I can set the temperature within a survivable range and you can move on to the flower bed next to the stairs. There's an awful lot of dialogue in this and I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. It's a good thing. It means I've got less fucking reading to do. But I don't suppose it makes... Oh... I don't suppose it makes it very interesting for me to be sort of sharing stuff because I'll end up talking over things, which I fucking hate. This looks like Pacific Revival. Part of an archway, maybe. That's a pretty big piece to ship all this way. So it must be important. Even though it's no longer holding up a roof. I guess its purpose has changed. As can happen with people, too. What's the point of this, Addy? I'm an explorer. I'm here to learn. <laughs> Uh, okay, do you know what? I could be here forever just examining everything. Is this a lantern? 
an expression of our certainty in the flow of time. How so? A craftsman spent months carving this remarkable device based on the absolute certainty that after day, night would follow. All right, I follow. You're not a planner, are you? I've been told that. So I have to go to the flowers by the stairs. Go ahead and choose a blue, Maddie. Right. So it's just red or yellow or purple. Where's the purple? Oh, there's only one there. Um, I tell you what, let's, let's choose red as it's similar to the suit. This one. I had a feeling you'd pick that. You're a risk taker. There's a passion in you, a fire you can barely contain that drives you to complete your mission. I'm making the lighting adjustments now. Ah, perfect timing. The room is fully compressed and we can go about setting oxygen levels. Call me old fashioned. But how about the traditional 21%? Go ahead and seat yourself at the center of the pergola. Are the wind chimes going to get activated now, are they? Very good. Now, when you're ready, you can remove your helmet. My helmet? Of course. You can't sample the air I've prepared with it on. And you're sure it's safe? Your well-being is the most important thing, Addy. I'm certain it is safe. Okay. Now I want you to take a deep breath. A nice, deep breath. Hold it there. Three, two, one, and release. Beautiful. And when you're ready, another deep breath in. Mm. Here we go, here we go. Deep as you can, Addy. Hold it. Three, two, one, and release. Very good, Addy. Feel all that built up stress from your long journey here release into the ether. Oh, please, shut out any negative energy and take in another life nurturing breath. Okay. Fill those marvelous lungs. Hold it. Three, two, one. Yes. <sighs> Wonderful. Even the station has a limited supply of oxygen. Next, I want you to really open your body by reaching up toward the sky. Wonderful. How's that feel, Addy? Kind of nice. And we're almost done the calibration. For our last exercise, I will ask you to stand up. Okay. Now, once you're centered, you can hold your hands in a relaxed position in front of you. Now transfer your weight onto one foot. I want you to hold that for 10 seconds. Okay. What could this possibly have to do with oxygen levels? It's about balancing. Literal balancing? Unbelievable. Almost there. Three, two, one. And that's 10 seconds. Okay. Excellent, Addy. We've done great work here today. I've made note of these settings for the other parts of the station. So we can move to the transit system now? The door out is just up the stairs past the flowers. Right, so that was fucking weird. That was a bit sort of Wii Fit. Or Xbox Connect type thing where you, you kind of... Like, is that going to affect later on? with traversing something and I might balance and fall. Yeah. I, I yeah, I'm I'm kinda liking this. I, I I like the idea behind it. 
as soon as I'm done with this recording, I'm, I'm probably just going to carry on playing this then for the rest of the day. Uh, as I've got pretty much nothing else to do. I'll do my best to get the oxygen mix just right in the rest of the station. Just let me know if anything is not quite working for you. You don't suspect Grace was shut down in a human conflict? Maybe. Or you were abandoned over time. Abandoned? We've walked away from a lot of great things. All right. Very cool. These tracks move transport pods to other levels of this complex. Let's see if we can get this thing working. Right. It doesn't allow you to fall off. There's obviously a... As you can see, I'm unable to just walk to my death. You wouldn't build a system like this if you didn't need to move a lot of people. Which bodes well for finding something cool at the other end. Oh. Hmm. I'm still having neck and shoulder problems from cryosleep. But, uh, yeah. This must be the transit control room. Looks like people worked here. There's another panel being ripped off. No power? There is no current running to this console. Control will be required to reroute power. And you defied my wishes to tell the solar system of my return. I'm just looking for answers, boss. I am the only answer. Control? Fine. Where's the electrical access for the room? To the left of the rear door. But as I said, you will need control to reroute power to the console. This era of electronics is dead simple. Won't hurt to take a look. Okay. This should show the power status of the room's various systems. Well, nothing in the room is on standby. As I'd said. I'm gonna have to look at the breakers. My dad worked on older machines for a living. They're not predictable things. They have quirks. I sense that there is joy in this work for Addie. Well, I can tell you there is no joy running to any of those breakers. Sometimes a good whack will knock something into place. It's worth a try. Well, there's your problem right there. Someone's removed the entire power relay. As I told you. So why can't Control help us? Isn't he programmed to serve humans? He's more accustomed to tasks like maintaining power grids across entire planets. While I'm very much attuned to the needs of individuals. What about you, Logic? I apparently offer wisdom to the wind. You activated Control and Empathy. For all the good that did us. Is there another configuration we can call on? Grace's core processors contain only these three systems. Can you combine the systems? Take the edge off control with a little empathy? I suppose it's possible. But there's no telling what the outcome of something like that would be. Could it be any worse than control? It can always be worse. It sounds like a wonderful idea, Addy. You're right. What do I know? Don't blame me if he turns out to be a murderer. <laughs> Addy? Yep, it's me. Great! Uh, wh what are we doing again? We're powering up pods. So, you want to hotwire this thing? Yes, please. All right. Rerouting is good to go. You can meet me at the breaker panel. Uh, go ahead and flip the switches. You got it, pal. And I'm pal? Sure. We'll call you pal. Breakers look good. Now you can push the buttons that turn on the different systems. Power's up. I'll let you do the honors. 
Here we go. Oh, that's not good. I'm so sorry, Addy. I thought I would have enough power to do this for you. It seems so important for you to ride in a pod. I think the track is just jammed with ice. Ice? You'd think I would be able to handle a little ice. It's okay. Is there uh, some kind of de-icing system or something? Hmm, I don't know. There is not. All right, let's look for something to deal with the ice. Okay. <coughs> um, not really sure what else to sort of do or say. You know, I mean, I'm, I, I mean, I could just play this game for the rest of the day, and it probably wouldn't make much of an interesting video. Not that anybody fucking watches them anyway. But we'll see. These look like crystal core processors. Amazing. Do you still use this technology? They be too expensive to build today. This looks like a welder's jetpack. It's been disassembled for some reason. This one looks to be in working yeah. order. Would it be heavy enough to smash the ice? <laughs> Maybe. But I'm more interested in what that welding gun might do to the ice. All right. All right, pal. Let's try this one on for size. So, what's it gonna do exactly? Oh, I think you're gonna like it. This is a welder. See if it still works. Mm -hmm. Look at that. A little blue light. That's not gonna cut it. Are you able to control this? For you? I could definitely try. Can you open the fuel throttle to the torch? Okay. Whoa. Better. I like that. What is it? That's called an icebreaker, pal. Any idea where the flight controls are? Someone removed them. Okay. I can take control if you like. You know how to fly this? Looks pretty easy. Stuff shoots out the back and you get thrown up in the air. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh! It's working! We can fly! Easy, pal. Well, where do you want to go? Uh, alright. If, uh, if you can move me to the pod, we can have a look at the ice. And, uh, pal, super important that you don't cut the engines or move too fast. I don't want to get hurt. I know. But it's great, isn't it? Yep. As long as you don't kill me. Alright. This should be close enough. It's so bright and warm. Just hold me steady. This is really hard. I think that's Don't. good. Let's have a look at the rest of the track. You got it. As long as you're not using the fire shooter, flying is pretty easy. Just keep it up, literally. There's more ice here on the right. I mean, it's... <laughs> oh, hold it steady. Sorry. Ugh. Short versus Addy. He's really struggling. It is kind of like a puzzle game, in a way. Let's keep going. On it. And this last bit here. Of it. This is so cool. It's like the best day of my life. Well, I'm afraid we're almost done. All right. I think that's it. Do you think you can get me back? Yeah, I know. You have stuff to do. That's fun, pal. We make a good team, right? Yeah, I like the part where we burn the ice while flying. Me too.
Okay, I'm gonna bring down the pod. Yeah, not really much else I can sort of do or say. You're kind of you're just watching me play. It's almost like live streaming, but not live streaming, if that makes sense. I don't know what else I'm supposed to sort of be, really be doing. I like the look of it. Uh, some of the dialogue's a bit cringe. Uh, sounds quite nice in some places. Seems very basic, but there's nothing wrong with that. What with me being a simple folk. Um, so let's just do this. So this, is this attached to anything? Have, have I, was there like a weird perspective thing that I wasn't seeing? Yes, there was. It is actually attached to the tracks, which is why it was needed to get rid of the ice. For some reason, it just looked like it was floating. So, where are we heading again? I will be able to obtain structure schematics once we reach the next level. You think we'll see any dead bodies? <laughs> Hope so. What a weird thing to say. This is probably going to be where I'm going to stop it now. We're coming up to what? Do you know if the pod system has stops along the way? It does not. We are arriving at the track terminus now. This looks like a good enough spot to stop the video. We're talking about between 55 and minutes and an hour. Um, I quite like it. I'm going to play this now. I'm not, you know, once I stop this video... I'm going to carry on playing this because I'm I'm kind of hooked. I'm in, interested in what's going on. Um, that's it. I'd, I'd recommend it. And if you've stuck it up this far, well done. You really are a, somebody who's a glutton for punishment, as it were. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to say. I, nothing. I'm not saying there's no depth to it. But there's just no. It's one of those things you. I don't think you can talk about it until after you've done it, until after you've played it, and and what it leads to, and and what have you. We've got some quite simple puzzles to have gone through to begin with for the first hour of the game. Um, that, that's that. I've quite enjoyed it. Well, like I said, I'm going to continue playing it now after I've after I've turned this off. So. I shall, I shall leave you to it. The video is going to end now and I'm going to carry on and you're not going to be there to watch me. Yeah. Bye now.